That's the first lot of diaries, Mark. The Malay years. Oh, great. I'll start making notes straight away. Thank you so much, Martin. Look out, Beaver. I'm on your ass. You've got Natalie to thank, really. She's been very enthusiastic about you. Maybe that was actually good sex. Loosen up, Corrigan. This is what happens in the bedroom now. No old-fashioned fumbling and kissing. A lesbian rapes you while you dream about your mother. It's edgy. Some of it's a bit choice, Mark. A bit fruity, death-wise. So you have been warned. Doesn't bother me, Martin. The fruitier the better. War's never a picnic. Although, obviously, soldiers do end up eating outdoors quite a lot. Yes. Uh, I'm going to check out now. Pay up. Save us some time. I'll finish up here. Oh, it's been lovely seeing you, Pumpkin. Shut up, Mum. Oh, I'm sorry about this boring money business. No, no, it's fine, Mum, really. You know, Sue Bans says the band's been getting a lot of interest and I might write a porn film with a proper story and everything, so a lot of good opportunities. This is a nice room. Mind if I have a look? Mm, sure. He, uh, he seems a lot less... Uh, doesn't he, Mark? Yes. Uh, I might just go and have a look round, too. <laughs> What's going on? Why is Gunny here? If they can't get to Corfu, Mark, they can't spend my money. That's physics. Jez, mate, a, a gun at an airport? No, give me Gunny. No, Mark. I'm not going to let them run off with my money. That's why Gunny's going on a little holiday. Twit, I've only packed my bloody wallet. That's a gun. Give me Gunny, Jeremy. Oh, fuck off, Mark. You're not Taggart. You're aiming the gun at me. Are you going to shoot me, Jeremy? I'm not aiming it at you. I was just stretching my arm. He's abducting Gunny. Mm. It's deactivated. Most of these things are. Deactivated. It's like he's told me my cock doesn't work. Poor deactivated Gunny. Jackie, we're going. Your son is an idiot. I I'm so sorry, Martin. Really. You don't want the diaries back, do you? You're not responsible for Jeremy, Mark. We'll talk when we get back. I have a lovely time in Corfu. <laughs> Natalie raped Mark. What? Bye, then. Mark? Is that what you told him? Go on, Mark. Tell Martin what happened. And I'm telling the police and the papers unless I get my money. Mark? Close doors, close. Th there was a misunderstanding. Now, that's all, Martin. Cross wires. It, it wasn't a proper rape at all. No, nothing went up my bum. O off you go. What do, what do you even mean, rape? What are you talking about? Well, I, I did actually say stop. But, look, let's just completely forget forever what Jeremy just said. You go. Don't let her off, Mark. She's OJ. She's guilty as fuck. Tell the truth. Yes, please do. Tell the fucking truth. Why am I suddenly the bad guy? He's the one with the gun. She's the one who... not raped me, but... How come I'm the villain? No, not the diaries. I've lost the Battle of the War diaries. Back to the trenches of credit management. Well, Mummy's gone. So you're my mummy again now. And I'm going to have to suck on your dry teat forever. For a bit. You know. Mark, it sounds like you've been raped by a soldier, like in a Mike Lee film. Stop talking like this, Jeremy. You said no. You said, stop having sex with me, please. You beautiful man. I'm going to tattoo your name on my balls. I'm a millionaire again. But there's a condition. Oh, there's always conditions, Mark. You can ignore conditions. When you sign up for a credit card or adopt a child, there are conditions. They're meaningless.